what's up you guys welcome back to another video so in today's video i did some shopping um on beauty bay and p louise uh website so beauty bay and p louise are uk based uh makeup brands they really they have some really good products like really good quality and i only speak of that from what i have ordered from beauty bay in the past so i'm just going to kind of run through really quick what i picked up and then we're just going to create a makeup look using some of these new products um which i really think for the sake of today's video because i've never tried p louise eyeshadow base i'm going to prime with rumor three and then i'm going to use the p louise eyeshadow palette and then we'll get into the base and i'll go ahead and try all of the rest of the powder products before we jump into the video oh, before we jump into the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and without further ado y'all let's go ahead and jump into today's makeup look all right you guys so i thought that i was recording i think i need to change the battery in my remote that i use for my camera the first shade that i went in with is called togetherness um i ran that along the like in my crease then i went in with the shade roses now i'm going in with the shade veil just to add a little bit of depth into like my crease area i do somewhat have hooded eyes as you could kind of tell um but i just wanted to add a little bit of depth i didn't want to necessarily do too bold of a color on the outer corner even though i kind of regret it not doing it for the shimmer shade i did go in with the shade promise within this palette so what i am going to do is i'm going to try to have it on the screen like an image of the palette and just kind of let you guys know or mark what you know obviously what colors or anything that i did use but this is pretty much what i created with this eyeshadow palette the shimmer shades do pull a little bit more glittery from what i um took from the color that i use so be aware of that and i say that because i do know and understand that some people don't like glitter they don't like any fallout or anything like that but you will be able to see here the texture of the shade promise that i used in the inner corner it definitely looks a little glittery i feel like this would have been great with my glitter glue by nyx however i wanted to use the most i used was the p louis eyeshadow base in rumor three but i kind of wanted to see how these performed without like a glitter glue now going forward i do know what i would prefer to use when using the shimmer shades because i feel like the glitter glue by nyx will kind of help to not have so much fallout if you will um and i'm just again taking that same shade veil which is that deeper berry color. I'm just taking a little bit of that and just kind of running that on the outer corner before, you know, obviously com completing this, this eyeshadow look. All right, you guys, so the face is already primed. I have primed it before I went in with, um, before I went and did my eye look. I know that more than likely I'm going to have to fix my lashes because it's been about three weeks since I've used the lashes. So I just know that at any moment they about to slide right on off um i did prime with the elf uh power grip the green one or blue one whatever color that is i primed with that and i also used in my t-zone the glow recipe blur primer um in regards to the eyeshadow palette it was beautiful it blended great I definitely do think that that's a really good, nice, large palette for a makeup artist kit. Um, the pigmentation was there. The, the shimmer shades definitely leaned 
almost like a loose glitter in a sense. Um, so I did have a little bit of fallout, which I still kind of see it, but it's fine. For the foundation concoction, I did two pumps of the Kosas foundation. This is in the shade 250. And then I did two, no, I did one pump of the Say. Um, what is this? Like the liquid highlighter. I never took that, I never took it back to Sephora from the Sephora Savings event. So it's like, girl, just use it, mix it with some foundation, call it a day. I do have a little bit more foundation left on my little palette. So I'm going to just work that in this bottom area where I tend to, you know, it doesn't build up my coverage as good as I would like down here in this area. So I'm just going to add a little bit more, blend it out, and then I will go in with our curve case from Made by Mitchell. <laughs> All right, so this is the Made by Mitchell curve case. This is in the shade medium. So again, the top row are cream blushes, bottom row are cream bronzers. So I am pretty much going to point to the two shades that I am using. Let me actually see, because what I do love is that the shade names are on the back of the packaging it shows you directly which one you used so for cream blush i use the shade peach sugar and cream bronzer teddy bear so you guys just look at two swipes of not even two swipes but two dabs of this brush into that cream blush and the pigmentation is there Another reason why it's a good thing to do this step before you go in with concealer because the concealer will definitely kind of help clean up a lot of this blush that we just put down. Um, this is definitely way too much blush for me. I typically don't like this much blush. I know some people go ham with blush. I am afraid of it, even though I wear it. It's so weird. But this is the bronzer in the shade Teddy Bear. And look how pigmented. First of all, these blend out very easily. Now, what I did do is I still went ahead and sprayed my brush with the Milani Make It Last. Any setting spray or, you know, setting mist will do just fine. Um, but I did spray the brush before, you know, going into the face so that it could be a little bit easier of a smooth blend out. But... This is very pigmented. It is, wow. It's definitely creamy. It's definitely rich in pigment. And I don't think I could recommend these enough. I highly, highly suggest that this is a product that you go and try to pick up on Beauty Bay's website for sure. All right, you guys, so to set my makeup, girl, to set the makeup, I used MAC NC42 around the perimeter of my face, and then I used One Size Ultra Pink to set my under eye and pretty much my T-zone. Now we are going to go in with the P. Louise Bronzer Palette. So, of course, I'm going to dig into the top row. I'm going to probably take the first two shades just to see what that gives me but yes let's give it a let's give it a go um oh already okay um Ooh. 
let me know. I mean, like, I know clearly I have a lot of powder blush. And I, I mean, I have a lot of the cream blush and bronzer from the Made by Mitchell kit. But I still feel like I could tell a difference. And then I'm just going to dab into the lighter shade for the nose area. Okay, and then let's go in with the P. Louise Blush Palette. And I think for this one, I am going to take... Oh, I'm going to take this shade right here. You guys see that one? We're going to take that and give ourselves some blush. Oh, yeah. I feel like that definitely helped. You can see the difference right here. Okay, now let's do some highlighter. Once I feel like I set the face with like my setting spray, it'll kind of bring everything together. For highlighter, again, you see how the colors kind of shift. So to play it safe, I think I'm just going to go in with this shade right here um, to keep it a little simple. I don't typically do. It looks a little glittery. Um, yeah. It's a little glittery. So if that's not your cup of tea. Um, this is mainly where I put highlighter. Cupid's bow, tip of the nose. Sometimes on the bridge. Um, I don't usually like to put highlighter here anymore. But I still feel like you see that subtle glow. And it could be from the, say liquid like highlighter but let me go ahead and set the face um as far as a lip combo i'm trying to think i don't think i have any new lipstick products but i'm gonna go ahead and set with setting spray do a lip combo we'll be back and i will definitely give you guys my final thoughts Alright you guys, so this concludes today's makeup look. I did go ahead and use the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I was using this spray also throughout the entire video to kind of um, spray my brushes to blend out my cream products. I actually poked myself in this eye with the mascara wand trying to do the lower lashes. Let's just keep rolling. Okay. <laughs> For lip combo, I did go in. You can go in with any brown lip liner. This is a brown lip liner from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Liquid lipstick, I went in with number 71 by Sephora. And then the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Gummy Bear 021. So that is the lip combo. Something very simple. Pinky nude that I would typically go for. Either a true nude or pinky nude. Um, but anyway, you guys, this is the completed look. I do personally feel like... All of the products that I used in today's video, they did mesh well together. There is something about Made by Mitchell, his formula that I, I don't know. It is truly amazing. These curved cases, I highly recommend. You guys saw the pigmentation of that cream blush and I still felt like it was shining through. Even after I set with powder, I low-key felt like I did not need to add powder blush, but I did anyway for the sake of the video of trying these new products. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Highly recommend that you guys go on Beauty Bay and order these. Um, hopefully they are in stock. They have been going in and out of stock for so long. So that's why it took me so long to order them. Once I saw that they were back, I cannot pass up the opportunity to grab all three. In regards to the P. Louise, um, out of everything that I purchased from P. Louise, the eyeshadow palette is a must try. The blush palette that I have here is definitely a must try. Pigmented, I see no patchiness on the skin. And the bronzer palette is honestly, truly, truly 
phenomenal. I feel like you get so many different ranges of shades. Um, honestly, P. Louise shipping for it to have been, you know, from UK, I feel like her shipping was a lot faster than Beauty Bay. I think all of the stuff that I ordered from P. Louise came within a matter of like four days. Beauty Bay, it took about a week and a half. So that's just to kind of give you a heads up. And with Beauty Bay, I actually spent so much that I got like the free shipping, which was like two to six days. They have an option where you could pay $20 for a shorter time frame. But even at times when I've paid for that with Beauty Bay, it still took about a week and a half. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind. Um, but overall, you guys, these products are amazing. I highly recommend if you have not tried anything from these brands. These are some of the things that I definitely say go take a grab at. Um, I do have more stuff in my cart with Beauty Bay and P. Louise that I think I'm just going to go ahead and order because the makeup is just, it's hitting a little bit different than the stuff that we can get at Ulta and Sephora. I think after the Ulta and Sephora sales that happened, um, between like September and beginning of November, I'm just kind of burnt out and I wasn't as excited to shop there. Um, so I definitely wanted to try what I had been seeing on TikTok and that was products from, you know, made by Mitchell and P. Louise. So I'm really excited I got my hands on these products. I could definitely see myself using these a lot more. And as far as I'm concerned, I am trying to tell myself I do not need another blush or bronzer palette. But, you know, you just never know. <laughs> So that is it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed. Stay safe and be blessed. I will see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.